all greens. This is really good stuff. Hey there, if you have a Webflow website and you wanna host videos on your website, for example, here I do it, where you click. Hi, I'm Mike, I'm a web. And it just loads instantly. You don't have to worry about any banners or seeing YouTube or, or some random videos uh, that will be shown afterwards. This is a great new app, it's called Bidflows and it's specifically for Webflow. And so I just wanted to walk you through a little bit about it and talk about some of the things that I really like, especially coming from an SEO background. All right, so let's get it. All right, so here's the Bidflows, the website. Here's the proposition, unlock the full potential of your videos in Webflow. If you've been working with videos, uh, uploading them onto your Webflow website, you've probably recognized some of the limitations when it comes to background uh, videos. You can only make them so big. Uh, when you want to add them in other places, you kind of rely on using, you know, hosting them somewhere else. And sometimes if you're using YouTube, for example, then you have to deal with all their banners and their branding. And so it kind of interferes with your branding. There's just some stuff that is just not really enjoyable. And from the SEO perspective, there's that little missing element like, oh, you know, I would like to give a title to my video or I would like to add a meta description. And so these are some of the things that Bitflows, I think they've kind of listed out all the areas of, you know, where, where are the pain points when it comes to embedding videos on Webflow and they're, they're tackling them. And so th this is a, it's a pretty new app. It's, uh, but I would say that they've definitely done a great job. And I just want to show you some of the things that I really enjoy uh, as I walk you through it. So here and talk about good timing, the, uh, with the, with the Webflow app marketplace just coming out, you can you can easily find it here. Um, you can just go to find app and you'll see that they're just located right here. And I think this is great. They're one of the first uh, on the app market. So it shows, it, to me, that shows that, that demonstrates that Webflow sees a lot of potential in this and they're giving them uh, some, uh, yeah, giving them some visibility right off the bat. So that's a great thing to see. Uh, so here you can read a little bit, you can add to site and I don't want to walk you through that because you, you can just press buttons and figure that out. But let me just show you the, the dashboard, what it looks like when you, when you log in. So here I'm just going to log in. Um, so do that. And it's pretty simple looking. I've just uploaded one video like this before even having this, it was just blank. Normally it would, yeah, it just had like this little place, like just go ahead and just drop in your video. And once you drop it in, it'll give you, uh, it'll just start processing it and putting it onto the server. So it just takes a little bit of time there. And here, just to show you what you can do is here you can see they have the various, uh, let's say player settings. So you can make it, uh, you can do an auto play uh, or click to play, do a click to play, don't do auto plays. Um, <laughs> and, uh, and when it comes to coloring uh, here, you can see this little guy, you can change the coloring so here, for example, I'll make it green. So I think this is great. This is also shows where, you know, it's a, it's a brand new company and they're going to bother. They will probably improve these areas. For example, I yellow is part of my branding and you can't really see the play button. So I imagine in the future, they'll give an option to change the color of the play button itself. So that's pretty cool. And here you can see various, uh, various things, uh, adding chapters uh, to your web, to your video. That's pretty cool stuff. So what, what I like about the SEO part is that here you can add a title, you can add a description, and you can even change the thumbnail if you wanted to. So these are great things. These are things that you would, you know, if you're on, uh, if you're loading your videos on YouTube, uh, you know, and, and you're, you're wanting to, let's say, do things to improve, always improving your SEO for your website. These are actions that you would take. What's nice about this is that you don't have to worry about all the YouTube branding. You can just do it with this tool and it will look like it just comes from you. And so that's a really great feature. Uh, when it comes to sharing and embedding, so how do we do that? So here you get the direct links to this actual video. So let's just see what that takes you to. Uh, oops, I'll show you that in a second. Um, here, you can just see the, the video. Hi, I'm Mike. So that's, yeah, so that's a big version. But the thing that I was looking for is, let me go back here. Yeah, uh, no, <laughs> there it is. The thing I was looking for is just this embed code is that basically you just need to copy this and then you just paste this into your website. So here I just copied. And when you go here to your page, uh, this is basically it. You would just paste this. So I just delete it and I'll paste it again, save. And there you can already uh, see that it's right there. 
if you're in preview mode. Hi, I'm Mike. I'm a that's great. You don't even have to worry about, you know, publishing your site uh, to be able to see it. So it's already it's already viewable in the preview, preview mode. So this is great. This is great stuff. Now, let me show you a bit about the SEO that I really like. So if you're in the SEO, one of the important factors is making sure your website loads super fast. It's great for user experience, but also search engines. They use this in making sure that they're serving a good website, meaning they're display they're putting good websites at the top of search to make sure that they will help, uh, let's say, users searching for that particular query. And so I have a video on my homepage where, uh, you know, I just want to introduce myself, talk a little bit. So that video that I showed you and of all the video players that I tried, I always had this number, this performance number of 95%. I could never like get this to change. And, and I tried different ones. The main culprit was that it was just, loading it was it was requiring these video players required a heavy load uh, of taking something that was on their servers loading it onto my website that would just kind of it was like kind of a slow process i felt like my websites were pretty fast but when it comes to these scores it, i could never get it to 100 percent. and sometimes when it comes to clients and you know if, if you're hiring if you're hired for seo and they want to see certain numbers they that matter to them they might want to see that this number is always as high as possible. Well, with VidFlows, I just copied and uh, copy pasted the embed code and look, it just put the performance at 100%. It also made the structure much higher. So look, you see here over, I have some yellows over here and then over here, it's just, uh, yeah, all greens. This is really good stuff. And if you just look at the actual numbers, I can see the first content, content full paint was at uh, 206 milliseconds versus over here, the previous one was 245. And so every, every speed increment that you can have increment that you can have, that's always great for SEO. And so for, from an SEO perspective, this is really exciting to see. So quickly about pricing, I just wanted to come here because I think it helps give a mindset of what types of videos I'm going to be using, let's say this platform for versus something like YouTube. So the way that they have the pricing structured is they kind of have sort of these limits right now, you know, so up to 10 videos at 720p, those are for free. And as you pay a little bit, you can see you can get up to 50 videos on the higher plan and unlimited video quality. So still 50 videos and you know, that's not something that's not a huge. So I'm, I wouldn't imagine that you would use this to upload. Let's say if you have a database of, you know, tons of videos, you can't really do it in uh, for now and their business model might change or not. But what I do see this as is if I'm building landing pages, highly targeted landing pages where I want to use a video, you know, those things, you're not going to be making hundreds of them. You're probably going to make a dozen. And so this is where this could be really helpful, I think. And you'll have all the branding, you'll have a fast loading website, and this is really good stuff. And so for now, how I see myself using this is that on landing pages where I want to, let's say, talk about, let's say my company or the products and services that I offer, I would use uh, bid flows for that. When it comes to blogging and I want to blog a little bit, uh, let's say I have a, a long blog about how to optimize your website and maybe I want to include a video there. I think for the time being, I'm still more inclined to use YouTube and put it there just because I know that that helps uh, with uh, the Google search. And, you know, it's good to use, let's say, Google's products as you're trying to play more on the SEO side of this. But uh, really, th I, so I, I think that's the separation right there is that blogs, maybe I stick more with YouTube and just, you know, hosting it there. But then for actual pages where most of my clients, that's where they're going to be converting and they're going to want to maybe take a next step with me. I, I would use this because I would use VidFlows because it's just faster and it looks great. So with all these things, I think it's two thumbs up to give it a shot. I think VidFlows is pretty cool. You know, it's pretty easy to use. It just does what it is that you want it to do. And I think that's really important is to not get so, you know, caught up with other things that might just stand in the way. It provides a clean, clear, very nice user experience from you uploading videos and the videos, how they'll look on your website are going to look professional. And I think that's really important. That's probably what we all want as designers. And so if you do want to give it a shot, 
you know, you can go ahead and try it for free. I'll put an affiliate link in uh, the description of this video that I'm sharing. And, uh, you know, just uh, if you have any questions about it, just let me know and I'll try to answer them through the comments. All right. So with that, I wish you a wonderful day and hope this was helpful. All right. Bye bye.